Hey guys, it's CSPN 001 here, part 5 of Let's Play The Walking Dead Survival Instinct All Marked Locations. Last time, we got through Act 1, we found Merle, and we got our first unmarked travel location, and for the first time an optional survivor that we found at an unmarked location. I mean, it was the first unmarked location we went to, so yeah. So, it looks like we're going to run out of fuel just a little bit short of our destination. And like I said before, if the characters start talking, that means you're not going to stop ever again. Uh-oh, we need four fuel to go to get to where we're going. Well, what's our location going to look like? And let's see what I can drop off, because... Let's drop off the commercial MRE. So now we at least have two optional survivors, which is a good thing. I know at the last unmarked location there was like nothing, not really any supplies or walkers really. Execute. Okay. Now there is kind of an advantage to running out of fuel though. It tends to be that if you run out of fuel and you don't have that far to go, you'll find a smaller amount. But if you have a long way to go, you'll find an insane amount of fuel sometimes. Ah, uh, that bolt there. We do not currently have a weapon that can use the bolt. So, I guess the question is, what might we be finding soon? Well, technically, I don't think we even find it until the end of Act 2, which is kind of stupid, but... That is foreshadowing for the future. Found an enough fuel, and we got a little bit of ammo. I wish we could have taken the MREs and crap. Oh. Hey, hey, die, die. Thank you. Oh, hey, no, no, no sneaking up on me, Walker. Eat my dickhead. <laughs> Eat my dickhead, is that what he said? Kind of, whatever that was, that sounded pretty funny. Okay. This type of unmarked location also can... I know I have seen survivors spawn at this unmarked location before, or at least similar ones, maybe not in this area of the game, but in similar areas to this, that look the same, like, on top of that truck. One will spawn up there, and you have to, like, rescue them, and it'll come with you. So, yeah, it's kind of nice, actually, to know that they tend to spawn one here. It's a lot of ammo here, which is good. Or maybe not a lot of ammo, but at least some. Makes this more worthwhile than just for 10 fuel or so. And maybe I shouldn't have gone that far. Okay, let's just... Let's just get out of here. Uh, there's fuel here. That was risky. That was a bad idea. That could have been very bad. But I got away from them. Okay. Run some zombie trains and let's get out of here. Come on. Come and get me, walkers. Oh, too late. You missed your meal. Too bad. Okay, so we got a little bit out of that. Not much, but I'll take it. Okay, Oakview. The Cherokee Hills Lumber Mill. Secured camp. Government aid. So... Well, since we're already almost there, let's just burn, like, two less fuel, I guess, and take the highway. Merle. Man, I gotta tell you something. Now that they're talking, it's nothing right, else bro. is gonna happen. I got it. Full bore, flesh-eating apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, but we were up at Jess's camp house when the, when the eaters came down on us. We never heard anything about them. The tourists up. Jess and me, we really wanted to get out. Where's the old man? He was up at the camp house, too. He didn't make it, bro. He did? The old man's dead? You let the abominations get him? Did he turn into one? Did you let that happen, too? No, I... We gave him mercy. What did he say? What did he say? He said, uh... He said... Tell Merle I'm proud of him. Merle? What do you really say? <laughs> okay, well, that was a nice, interesting conversation. Let's keep going. So, we now have two survivors. You prefer shotguns, but you're reckless. However, no way we find... 
Is it the new rifle we find here or the shotgun? I'll give you a shotgun, why not? Because soon we'll be getting a better one anyway. You prefer bladed weapons, so I'm going to give you my machete and just go with my knife. And you're going to go out to find uh, food, and you guys better not freaking die out there and drop... Well, especially Mia, because she has my shotgun, and I know we'll get one soon, but still. Uh, let's drop off the bolts in here, we're going to need those later, and the fuel. Okay. Okay. I know that we're going to be getting a new rifle here, though, which is kind of awesome. So you're just going to waltz up there, knock on the door, and ask to borrow a couple men? What do you want me to do? You're sick as a dog. You need medicine. You didn't want to go to no hospital. Let's just go join my crew at Jake's. They got what we need. Yeah, we got to get there first. Traveling ain't so easy these days. I'm coming with you, then. Yeah? You can barely walk. Then just stay put. Rest up. Anything happens, just call me. Fine. Okay, well... Merle's being his typical self. And now we have a stealthy sort of part. This area you can either sneak past a lot of the walkers or kill them or do whatever you want. Just looking around to see if there's anything really helpful here. Couple executed though. Kill you. Remember, they can hear you if you're loud, so yeah. Or if you fire your guns, they'll hear you. Okay, we've killed a bunch of them, which is good. So, a little more clear as we head on in. Okay, so, what have we got here? A light. That's not helpful. Oh, I didn't even see you. What is that, a flare? Nah, I don't really want a flare. You see some ammo over here, though. And a walker. Okay, he's gone. Ooh, four pistol ammo, that's good. What's this? A high power handgun? Well, we already have one, though, so we don't really need that. Okay, let's head on up. And is there anything up here? No, there is not. I was hoping that there was going to be a couple bullets up there, but apparently not. So I guess we need to head over here. I mean, I know that we can go up that ladder, but I want to scavenge over here as well, because this is where the weapon is. Don't want you to wake up on me, though. That would not be a good thing. And here it is, the semi-auto rifle. That's going to be our primary rifle now. I don't think it has quite as much range or accuracy, but, I mean, it's just as effective as any other, as the other rifle in power and all. And more importantly, it has a much higher rate of fire and 10 rounds in the magazine. So, it is a much more effective weapon. Man, there sure are a lot of you guys out. Hey, no, 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 you need to die. What have we got here? Pistol, okay, good, pistol ammo. Every bit of ammo is helpful. Oh, hey, 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 no jump scares, not cool. Not, not cool. Wicked Shrapnel would call you a Dark Corner McDougal. Try to get a light on. I heard that. Ain't they being neighborly? Well, we just got into a building easily. And another semi-auto rifle here if you would like it, and a lot of rifle ammo too. Pistol ammo, high power handgun, so quite a few supplies here. Let's take those commercial MREs, that's a lot of them too. Man, this room's pretty dark. It's one of those times you might wish you were in third person because you could see around every corner and stuff. Okay, what else we got here? Uh-oh, I see one over there. Ah, oh, I gave you that attack way too easily. Hey, come on, come on. Stop getting blocked by chairs, okay. Guess you're just getting your face stabbed. 
since there's only one of you, I can handle that. Okay, nothing else in here, but there was a lot in here to start with, which is good. Oh, great. Haha, you missed. You stupid walkers, it's just a bright, shiny light. You're acting like my dog, who's attracted to literally every shiny object and crap I went the wrong way. Yeah, my puppy's attracted to, like, shiny objects. It's really, really funny. He'll chase anything shiny. Like, he'll chase laser pointers and stuff. Kind of like a cat. Hey, I am not your enemy. Hey, I ain't an eater. I'm alive. You get him out. Okay, doucher, you do realize that I'm not one of them. Okay, do that. Lock the walkers. And now let's look around for more supplies. I see some fuel. Need that. Uh, we can head into some of these tents, so definitely want to check out as many of them as we can. There's a lot of walkers here, though, so we need to be pretty careful. Some of them have supplies in them. Some of them do not. This one has fuel. Just try not to get, like, cornered inside of one of these, or else you might end up being one for food. Dead. Uh-oh. Crap, now there's two of them. And I do not want to fire my gun here because there are a lot of walkers just right, just waiting for us. And I believe some of these tents will have a walker that grabs you the second you walk in. Anything in this one? Nope. Like I said, some of them have supplies in them, some of them do not. Let's kill you. And you. And you were about to grab me, but you will not now. You will die. And nothing here. That center area is exactly why I don't want to fire any guns, because there's a lot of walkers there. Okay, let's just head on into the building. And we're now safe. Sort of. Or safer, at least. Okay, one walker. That's not really a big deal. I can handle one of you guys all day. And food supply, that's going to be for an optional objective, always nice to have. That optional objective might be right out here, actually, so let's go do that. Hello? Uh, there has to be something here. You're alive? I got separated from my aunt. I'm trying to stay alive long enough to find her. You got any food you can spare? I found some gas. Sounds good. Uh, let's give you that food Thanks. supply. Here's what I promised. Good luck out there. I have to keep searching for my aunt. Well, you're not doing a very good job just by standing here, but I greatly appreciate your 15 fuel. Okay, so let's head on up to the roof and head into the other building. Because that's going to be the building with the antibiotics in them. Jeez. Okay, let's head down this ladder. Okay, what all do we have in here? You alive? Nope. Oh, I didn't even see you. You're the stranger then. Was it worth it? All of, all of this? We had a good thing going here. A little way station. Goons kept outside. I was able to protect these people. Why'd you do it? Me? I didn't do this. Too bad about your camp, but I didn't cut no fence. Look, my brother, he's real sick. We know you got meds. That's the only reason we came here. Meds? Yeah, I suppose. 
Guess that's all I got now. Is this enough to buy me a ticket out of here? Yeah, man, that's more than enough. Main gate is that way. It's still blocked, last I saw. You gotta cut through the sawmill to get out. It's gated, too. Here's the, uh, code key. I got more ammo stashed. I'm gonna grab it, and I'll meet you at the gate. Hopefully. Okay, sounds good. Where are those meds? Okay, let's head back here. Let's pick up the food, the drinks, and the medicine. Watch out for the splitter blades. Yeah, I'm sure they will, but there's actually a trophy achievement that you get for killing, I believe, 10 with the saw blades. That's actually kind of funny. I got that one by accident. That was like one of the first few trophies I got in the game, because like I said, I got it by accident. Because when I initially got this game, I was not expecting to go for the trophies in it, partially because I didn't know the list, and that was also sort of early on in my trophy hunting days, so yeah. So I got it actually by accident. Pretty funny though, you can literally just punch him out onto the track and it'll kill him. So you just gotta be quick and careful here and don't accidentally walk into these saw blades. Man, that's loud. So just run around them, avoid them, avoid them. That's all good, I'll split. Come on, girl, get your ass down here! Well, what do you think I'm doing, Merle? see how he could possibly get there that fast if he had to grab ammo, too. Oh, well. Video game logic. Hey, they both survived and brought us an MRE apiece, which is, like, nothing, because we're gonna have to use that to heal them. Okay. Proceed to map. Our next location is Taggart. Hi. This area has a lot of walkers in it, but it's fairly short, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's just take the highways, because we've got enough fuel for now. Let's see if we can get there without any instance of, uh, any problems. Nice! Upper Sawmill camp has been compromised. We've got that surveyed. We'll keep eyes on patrol. Spotted invaders, we'll deal with them. Come on, man. Gotta get off the road. Yeah, they're looking for somebody. But it's not us. What not us to kill that camp. They don't care about that. They're still after my head, man. And anyway... We can't lead them back to my club. Calm down, man. Take your pills. Find a place. Okay. The drive-in theater. This area is fairly short, so we're going to tackle it now. Uh, let's heal you with an MRE. Let's heal you with an MRE. And you're good, but you prefer bladed weapons. You do not have a weapon, so I will give you the bolt-action rifle that I no longer need. Each of you are going out to find food. That's the only real advantage to you. We don't need you to find fuel because we can always find that more easily. Put our fuel in the car. And this might be where we get... I believe we get another handgun here, actually, instead of the high power. I can't remember when we get the next shotgun. We gotta switch out trucks. Those birds are hawking us. Could be to help. You ever think about that? You hear that? Chopper. Yes, right there. How am I supposed to know that? Just rustle up a new ride. I'm going up that hill to see what I can see. Great. Uh, good to know that people are after you, Merle, but honestly, now that it's the zombie apocalypse, I'm not so sure they care that much. So technically, it's been, like, now less than a week since the apocalypse began. Technically. Unless the walkers took a while to even get up to the mountains, which is what I would actually assume, so... It still hasn't been all that long, though. Here we go. So, what we want to do is... Wow, this is a really crowded drive-in. You know, I really wish the drive-ins would sort of be, like, brought back, because... I mean, I grew up, like, sort of post-drive-in sort of generation years, and I would actually like to go to one and, like, go to those more sometimes than normal theaters. Probably a little more relaxing, you know, just sit in your car or out on, like, a lawn chair or something. Stuff like that. I guess, technically, you can watch, like, two movies at once if it's set up correctly. 
Nothing else there. Uh, anything in the supply room? Fuel, but not much of it, but still helpful. Let's see what we can find back here. That was probably unnecessary. In there. Food. Glass bottles that we do not need. Oh, I'm trying to walk over that, but it wouldn't let me. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Sherwood bear cats. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. We'll worry about that later on in the game. Take your food. Please tell me you didn't come here all by your lonesome, not with things being what they are. No, ma'am. My brother's keeping watch. Such a nice young man. You should gather up your brother and head to Palmetto Estates directly. Yeah, we're going that way. As soon as we get new wheels. Can you spare one of those? Oh, those aren't mine to give, I'm afraid. But I own a car I could let you have. What about you? Let's face it, honey. I'm too old to run, no matter how bad things look. Anything I can do for you before I go? Well, if you would be a dead retrieved satchel from my house, it would be all I could ask for. Consider it done. You know, a, a young man needs a car. I'll look for my keys while you're gone. Okay, but we're actually running a little short on time, so... Next time we will finish up this area and probably head to the next one as well. So see you guys then.